My big brother had shown me his nine and let me hold it literally what I call a nine to five. Ten times out of nine, I probably wouldn't survive. <laughs> This dude next to us says, hey, I create videos based around the dark web. Whoa, bro. This isn't what I want to go to sleep to, bro. Disturbing things from around the internet? A user by the name of Drudagon17 made a plea asking for some input on a few incredibly ominous screams that he'd caught on camera. In his post titled, What's Causing These Screams, he proceeds to say this. So I'm not really sure what this is. I've had a lot of people tell me different things but no one really knows for sure. Maybe someone here could help me shed some light? Earlier in the year, I went on a long road trip across the states, mainly visiting the national parks and a few cities along the way. Towards the end of the trip, we found ourselves staying in the small town of West Yellowstone. This appeared to be an ideal base while we explored Yellowstone National Park. We booked into a pretty creepy but cheap motel just off the main street for a couple nights. Me and my fiance had one room, my parents another. On the first morning there, we planned to get up early, catch the sunrise, and hopefully spot some of the local wildlife, so our alarms were set for 5am. At about 4.45am, I was woken up by a loud banging on the door, followed by crying and shouting. I instantly jumped out of bed thinking the worst had happened. I opened the door to my mom in a state of panic, saying, there's someone screaming, a woman screaming. There, clear as day, I could hear a woman screaming. It sounded like it was within 100 feet of us. Mom claimed it was happening for the last 30 minutes. We wanted to call the police but had no phone signal, no phones in the rooms, and we were the only people about. With this, his post contained a link to an unlisted video on YouTube that gives us a first-hand account at what he'd experienced. In it, we can hear the screaming that he's been asking about, and it's absolutely something that would halt me in my tracks if I were ever to hear this myself. Wait a minute, wait a minute, this has proof? Bro, this is different. We only watching this video, I'm watching some happy shit after this and I'm going to bed, bro. This ain't the night for this. This contained a link to an unlisted video on YouTube that gives us a first-hand account at what he'd experienced. In it, we can hear the screaming that he's been asking about and it's absolutely something that would halt me in my tracks if I were ever to hear this myself. Typical crackhead. The strange part about this is that there are no direct cries for help, and he addresses this further on in his Reddit posts. There's no help me, no get away, nothing. Just the manic screams of someone or something clearly in distress. Theories have been thrown up left and right regarding this. Some say it could be methamphetamine abuse. Others have claimed it could be someone going crazy. It could be a fox, someone getting murdered, or even a skinwalker. Take that for what you will. Nonetheless, the video still has no true resolution, and Drudagon appears to still be looking for answers. Bro, if you don't let that crackhead do her crack... An investigation has been ongoing for about a year now that involves a very strange YouTube commenter community that seems to revel in various uploads of baby monkeys either being neglected, injured, or killed. Past that, grab the bastard by the torso and squeeze and crush with your with all your might. If you poke the damn shit bag's eyes out and break the arms and legs, you need to... I want to butt it on the back. I want to put it on the back of my pit and watch him try to buck it off and eat it kill all baby <gasps> i need to drink some nantucket for this one large quantities of playlists and videos exist that are solely dedicated to their misery and they all seem to have quite a sizable audience what did diddy kong do to anybody what is this yo we on the the weird weird side of youtube who recommended this hickson said twitch gonna ban me 
Yikes. Yeah, we gonna call it. We gonna call it on that video. Let's try something else, bro. We we can't watch a video on fucking monkey abuse, bro. For me and Kurt Angle. Meat Canyon. Yo, love some Meat Canyon. Let's check them out. This one's called Railroad. I always forgot how beautiful it can be up here at night. You sure is right about that, Light and McQueen. Sometimes it feels like we're the only two people in the world that know about this spot. Funny you should say that. I'm not feeling Meat Canyon, bro. I, I never really am, bro. Meat Canyon, like, me, like, Meat Canyon is for, like, it just, it just ain't it, bro. It's just, it's just not enough. Me can you be making you feel like, like you watching Adult Swim? You got a tight little man pussy on you, don't you? All right, all right, we'll finish this one. We'll finish this one. Y'all love some Me Canyon. Trains are pretty common around these parts. I mean, there's tracks everywhere. Well, it was downright strange. Was it like no train I never seen before? Ah. Was it blue? You'll ever get random earaches? A mystical blue. That was weird. Almost as uh. if the train had become one with the air around it. Whoa! Oh! Yes! God, I couldn't have said it any better myself, Lightning. Man, that's exactly what it looked like. When I had that wreck a while back. Oh boy, I remember. We all didn't think you were going to make it out alive. It's pretty weird. All right, llama arts, llama arts, llama arts. For me and Kurt Angle. I was 26 years old, and I was unemployed. Feeling unfulfilled by the monotony of a job life, I decided I would try my hand at working from home. All right, y'all hear that, right? 26, unemployed, still living at home. Okay? Relax. You'll be okay, okay? I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, you know? You'll be okay, all right? So my day monotony of a job life. I you are, we are not alone out there, right? We are not alone, bro. And I was unemployed. Feeling unfulfilled by the monotony of a job life, I decided I would try my hand at working from home. I was a big procrastinator, so more often than not, I'd stray away and waste time. Is this one fire? Yeah, technically I'm not an unemployed. Uh, easy game. I'm gonna call your team easy. One day, I came across talk about the deep web while on Reddit. I felt amused by the people talking about it as if it was something so scary, and decided I'd look into it. It was stupid of me to go on it in the first place, but I made it even sillier by deciding to check it out late at night. It was about 2am and I came across a website where you could chat with someone anonymously. The person I got was a woman. She was in her early 20s and very pretty. She sat with her head in her hands, looking playful into the webcam while batting her eyes. I had no desire to turn my camera on and started our chat, thinking that while I didn't come across anything scary, I could befriend this pretty girl. Bro, look at how Sounds he was like looking into the camera. Anyway. I wouldn't she befriend you. She told me to you. turn the camera on, but I ignored that request and tried to get her to talk. She finally did after some prodding, but I noticed how guarded she was. You have I also no noticed how after every message I sent, her eyes would look off camera, either to her side or somewhere behind her computer. Yeah. After a while, it started getting annoying, so I asked her if someone else was there with her. I want to see you first. She said. Up until now, I'd been chatting while she'd answered my questions verbally. I'm not that curious. Bro, does he not realize he's the creep in this? Like, he has yet to turn on his camera, and he's asking, like, eight questions already. Like, bro. Don't be scared. She said, <laughs> laughing, this time looking behind the laptop again and making a face that seemed to indicate she was laughing at my expense with someone else. Yikes. This is getting boring. It feels like I'm not just talking to you. That's because you're not. You're talking to all of us. Who else is there? Turn your camera on. Is this a joke? Turn it on. Just turn it on, okay. bro. You on the I'll be leaving now. Bro, turn you're on, on Omega. Yeah. Her laughter was almost piercing by now. There was nothing humorous about the situation, yet she threw her head back with riotous laughter. I'd had enough and moved the cursor over to turn the chat box off when I saw the cursor had jammed. 
The only thing that was working was the chat box, and I still had access to the keyboard. Turn the camera on, sweetie. Her gumdrop-filled voice was louder than before, and I moved my gaze up to see her smiling toothfully at the camera. Her face still beautiful, but the smile completely fake. My computer's crashed, I can't see the screen. Sorry. I lied. I didn't want her to know I had no option but to chat. Her screen flashed before going blank. There was nothing there but a black screen. I felt relieved, thinking that at least I didn't need to talk to her while I tried to figure out what happened to the screen. Just then, a chat message popped up. Open the damn camera, you- The aggressiveness in the message frightened me. Now, the fact that I couldn't see her face while she typed this made me feel nervous. I didn't dare reply back, but then the cursor moved. I Wait a minute, this isn't Omega? When did he say this was a job on a deep web? Hold on, bro. About it, I came across talk about the deep web. <laughs> I thought it was Omega, bro. I still didn't make a move, but then the cursor moved. I watched shell-shocked as the cursor twirled around the screen. Open the camera now. I still didn't make a move. There was no way anything good would Bro, unplug your camera. What are you waiting asked. on? Do you want me to find you? My heart raced. Could it be possible she knew where I was? My nigga, this I is the deep typing. web. Yes. Please stop bothering me. Then turn on the fucking camera. By this point, I thought she was some kind of sadist. I saw my frightened face staring into the screen. Judging by my face, my attempts at looking tough were painfully unsuccessful. I asked around for the girl looking straight into the camera, telling her I did what she wanted and to stop hacking into my computer. There were several seconds of silence. I kept my stare directed to the little box that showed her camera feed, but it was pitch black. I motioned into the camera in confusion, feeling as if she was messing with me now. Then, I saw another message. Look here. After a few seconds of staring at those words, I looked back at her camera, but my computer instantly malfunctioned, and I received another message. Look here. Don't look up. The chat was filled with nonsensical gibberish. She typed with such ferocious speed, my screen whirled away with her constant messages. I couldn't understand what was going on, but I didn't look up. My patience ran thin, and I wrote back, What is this supposed to mean? Her response came. I read only the letters in bold and shuddered. I looked back into her webcam, and I fell back into my chair, my eyes widening. She was back there. Only her face looked completely demented. She had a savage expression, devoid of emotion. But her eyes were almost popping out of their sockets, and she was huffing as if she had extreme amounts of pent-up rage. Or a crack. The way she looked directly into the camera made me feel she despised me with all of her being. There was no amusement there anymore. Her camera went blank again. Oh, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Up. My heart stopped again. For a split second, there had been the same blackness, only for the lights to come back on. She wasn't alone anymore. There was a man next to her with a black mask on. He made no movements other than look into the camera like the girl. The girl's neck creaked to her side. It looked like it was causing her pain. And then the lights went out again. The chat resumed. Uh. This time, I screamed in fright and fell off my chair. There was another man with them now. He was standing next to the girl with the original one on the other side. This man had the same mask on, and his hands were grasping the girl's shoulders. Bro. Even with the subpar quality of the webcam, I could see the force with which the man dug his hands into the girl. It looked like he could rip her in two. The girl, however, had a huge grin on her face. Her eyes were mad with glee, or so it looked. Her teeth were perfectly lined up as her mouth spread into that toothy grin. But I could see she was in pain. Even with the smallest sign of her smile fading, the man clenched his hands even tighter than before, which made her smile even wider. All three of them were shaking. 
as if it was extremely cold where they were. After a couple seconds, I realized they were shuddering, like trying to hold back laughter. What are you laughing at? <laughs> I yelled into the screen. They didn't answer. I continued to tremor with concealed hilarity. That's me. What is so damn funny? I bellowed. They stopped shaking. Within a couple seconds, the screen went black again. When it turned back on, the man no longer grasped the girl's shoulder. Neither was she smiling. All three pointed into the camera. Upon a closer look, I understood that they weren't pointing at me. They were pointing behind me. Oh, I didn't need shit. to look back and see myself in the webcam. There was someone peeking from behind me. It was another man in a mask. And according to what I saw in my webcam, he was with me in my room, right behind me. I turned around quickly, but saw nothing where I had seen him in the webcam. I turned back towards the screen and, to my bewilderment, saw a third man in the girl's chat box. It was the same man I had just seen standing in my room. Now, all three had their hands on the girl and were gripping tight. The girl wasn't laughing anymore. She had a look of utter devastation. A tear was dropping from her eye, but it wasn't just a tear. It was blood trickling down her eye socket. She then mouthed the words, help me, and the next second she screamed as if her lungs were being ripped off as the screen went black. I immediately got up and pulled the plug out of my computer and backed out of the room. For a couple seconds, I swear I heard her screams, even though the computer was unplugged. The room went quiet, but I was too devastated to stay there and ran out of my house despite it being 3 a.m. <laughs> I caught a cab and went over to my friends, who had to talk me down for an hour before I could be calmed. I returned back to my house with my friend a day later. Everything was the same, and after thoroughly checking around the house, we concluded that there was no one there nor was there a sign of anyone ever having broken in. I've never gone back to the deep web. My friend suggested it might have been some prank by computer hackers, but the way that girl shrieked, the terror she had on her face, it convinced me she had been a victim herself. I had wondered if I had stayed on for longer, if I would have become a victim too. Could those men have found me? Was there really someone in the room with me? There was nothing I could do, because there was nothing concrete to report to the police. What I did do was throw the computer out and buy a new one. There was no way I could even open it back up after what happened. Wow. Wow, could have went a long time without seeing that one. Bro. I need one more though. That was that was heat. That had me feeling kind of kind of weird, you know. For me and Kurt Angle. Uh, let's do a Crypt TV one. Rachel. All right, we'll start at the most popular. This is gonna be the last one. Though. Don't tell me behind me, bro. The Birch. Will we will we be okay watching this shit, y'all? I don't want to lose my account, man. Amaya, sorry, thank you for the thirty bits. You said no sleep tonight for sure. I'm watching SpongeBob after this. Got me messed up. Bro. <laughs> I low key don't want to risk this one, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. This shit kind of crazy. Yo, Rachel, what are you talking about with this one, bro? Three hours ago, bro. What's going on? And we here now, and we okay then. You better leave a tip. Shit. What am I drinking? You did not order no drink. You better go. Bro, yes, I did. I ordered a sprite. <laughs> Nigga, you didn't order no drink. I told you that. What are you talking about? Bro, this is my order. It's right here. It says man, better get that phone out of my face. What are you talking? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the way he looked when he. You did not order no damn drink. <laughs> what am I drinking? You did not order no drink. You better go. Bro, yes, I did. I ordered a sprite. 
Nigga, you didn't order no drink. I told you that. What are you talking about? Look, 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 my order is right here. It says, man, get that phone out of my face. What are you talking about? I'm talking about he ordered a drink. Bro, is my sauce in here at least? Do you not have sauce in the kitchen? I asked, I asked y'all for barbecue sauce. It don't matter what the fuck you asked for. Do you have sauce in the kitchen, yes or no? Yes. Okay, then. That's what I'm saying. And why y'all parking my yard? Why is he here? Why you asking the wrong question? Bro, stop getting loud with us, bro. Who you getting loud with? It's all right, bro. Calm down, bro. I'm not playing with you, bro. Don't worry about us, man. You lucky we even came, stupid ass. And I was like, well, he didn't do the inauguration. This shit is, this shit is fire. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just, that's my I like that request. <laughs> <laughs> Pitch Noir said, but Lizzy doesn't write his freestyles. You should check him out. Whatever. Well, he put the you same Yeah, I don't write my freestyles and I fucking embarrass myself on here, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bossy. I'm, I'm, <laughs> Berlizzi should write his freestyles. Maybe that's what you meant to type. I'm a freestyle. I don't know how to, I don't, I don't know how to, when see people say freestyle, I'm freestyle. You yeah. go off the top of yeah, the head. Yeah, I go off the top of the dome. Oh, wow, wow. That's dope, okay, okay. though. I search like MCs in the dirt, how I attempt these as I go berserk. Golly! Golly! This dude already the first line. Look at how he got Sway's face. The line was kind of whack, and it was kind of subtle, but I had the bubble up. She, she had, had the a bubble, bubble up. up. I like go, go, go. Who's next? Juice World Freestyles? Okay, let's take a look. I had the double up. She had the bubble but. Over an hour over free over Eminem beat. This is real. J is Zeus World really about to do this, bro? Niggas just lose it. Niggas be faking the optical illusions. Run up on me. Drop by and I'm a guy. Okay. 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 But the money I manage. Out of space, I've been pulling on Pluto. Bad bitch pull up on the scene. My chopper got a feed. Oh my gosh. This should make me sad, bro. Because I wasn't even really following Juice World like that. Man, this really makes me sad, bro. Go, go, go. Who's next? Taking these stallions. Yes. Real hot girl shit. Stepped up in the booth. Uh-huh. Live from LA right here on the LA Leaker show. Ugh, yeah. man. And I'm the only bad bitch that's out right now really rapping. Ugh. I'm a real freak bitch. Bad uh. ass who. Go, go, go. Who's next? Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Tyler on Flex. Oh yeah, this is a classic. Yeah. This is a classic freestyle, bro. How do you not love Tyler, bro? Oh, to always keep 16s, nigga. Man, she just kill me, bro. Is this nigga looking like you know he's trolling flex right now? <laughs> bro, you know he said that. Then just goes. <laughs> you know he's tro he's not thinking of anything, bro. He's not. He's he's really not, bro. This dude is a troll, bro. <laughs> For buff net niggas just for some hot butt sex. Mm. What made you go with that verse? Go, go, go. Who's next? All right, somebody said JID double XL. Thanks to the maker, got me out of an awful place. My nigga gone for 17 years like a cicada. What is a cicada? Isn't that like a bug or something? Gone for 17 like a cicada? Cicada. They only live for 17 years or some shit like that? Cicada, 17 years. It periodically, cicadas only emerge every 13 or 17 years. His homie's down for 17, like a cicada, okay. Then the pylon, bitty bye bye, the, the dylon. We don't let bye guns be bye guns, we bite guns and squeeze like a python. Time my big brother had showed me his nine and let me hold it literally what I call a nine to five. Ten times out of nine, I probably wouldn't survive. <laughs> My mind is going beep, 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 beep. just fucking trying to process everything, but I caught that last bar. That was fire. That is metaphysical, put him in critical, critical. Uh, finna get him, finish it him, benefit him, didn't finish with him. Go, go, go. Who's next? Of course. Spark one of, them up. of course. Yeah. Funk Flex. New York City. Meek Mill, Philly in the building. That chain is yeah. dumb hard, bro. Golly, that shit yeah. clean. This that shit strong. beautiful, bro. Uh, I'm not even a chain dude like that. No you know, you know what's crazy? And this is just a random thought that I'm having right now. The days of like a Funk Flex, you know what I mean? Funk Flex, legend, right? Legend. I remember hearing about him when I was coming up. Flashback. One night in the ghetto, my man got shot in his ear like, put some treble in it. Put some travel in it, that's my word. But like, when I look at Funk Flex and how he be bringing people on a freestyle and shit like that, a nigga like I'm Dante can invite some rappers to his crib. I don't think he'd do that though. You know, he, he, he's kind of like me. He, he kind of just keep to himself. But a nigga like I'm Dante could definitely have a rapper 
coming up right now in freestyle, record it, throw it up on YouTube, and it might get just as many views, if not more, than a Funk Flex would. It's just crazy how like media is changing. Like back in the day, like we wanted to go to Funk Flex to get on the radio and freestyle and shit. Now it's like niggas is in Dante's DM like, hey bro, can you check my shit out? Kinda cool. It's kinda cool. Niggas they ain't fucking with me. They feel like my old hoes. Got them in they feelings cause they bitches in the choke hole. I'm like five minutes away. You see what I'm saying? Like well, I know Meek is spitting, bro, but they feel like my old hoes. Got it. Imagine waking up to that in the morning, bro. Hell no, bro. That's that's that right there, bro. This right here is what do you call this? Sleep paralysis demon. They homies got whack. We bought made backs. Came through they strip. No tent laid back. Since I got some money, ho, suck that dick sloppier. Fucking on a bad bitch with a bad bitch on top of her. My young chick touch. Hold on. Look. Shutting the streets back. You see us phone. Nigga, another one. We here. We know what you got. This nigga fuck flex is so turned up off this shit right now, bro. Shit. Go, go, go. Who's next? Kenny. Want that fucking Audi? I'ma go and get a truck. Smoking strong. Like the fuck doing some fucking punch. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did she say she was. Let me run that back. She said, I don't need an Audi. I'ma get a truck. Truck game. Let's get it. Uh, took her to my crib. I ain't do none. Ooh, yeah. Said you wanna take a plane, put a bitch on a bus. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, <laughs> that. Uh, <laughs> that's kinda cold. I was fucking with it. I know you got a new TV show that's coming out about your life loosely. She's relevant. Okay, I know that you had over 33 <laughs> of the big. Hold on, bro. This dude said irrelevant. <laughs> that's hilarious. Irrelevant. You must have bars. Bar Welcome side. to the Valley of the Hyenas. <laughs> Shave for. Who loves orange soda? Soda. This nigga loves orange soda, bro. What is he doing sitting here? Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, it's true. Ooh. What did I miss before this before this freestyle started? Oh. Lil Dicky. Lil old dick and I'm back in this bitch. I know y'all know when I got a gang full of hits in touch with the kids like a pedo. Oh, I'm a jam like Shaq. I'm a bang when I wish. I'm Whoa. In this bitch like a pedo. MJ, 96, meaning I'm back on my bullshit. Wait, 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 wait. Now, if this was the thumbnail, you wouldn't think he'd be getting off like he's getting off right now, bro. We got to start this from the top. He's, he's kind of spazzing right now. Hold up, MJ, 96, meaning I'm back on my bullshit. You know I come hard like a full dick. Suburban and white. Jumping in them, two shots at the line. I got him like a mime. Odell, beg a mic cut on a dime. Okay, oh, okay, okay. okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this, is this, is this off the top? I'm like trying to, I'm like trying to see like, Way, whoa. Is this off the top? Blow in the dark. See me anytime. Used to put the Xbox controller on my dick and let it vibrate. You what? Used to put the Xbox controller on my dick and let it vibrate. How I jerked off as a child. Hip All right. Lil Dicky, you dope, bro. I'm gonna just. <clears throat> Used to do what with the controller? Go, go, go. Who's next? Childish Gambino. I've seen this one so many times. Y'all know I love this man, Charles Gambino, bro. This man, Donald Glover, bro. Somebody said us Xbox movie. players she don't claim Lil Dicky. That's hilarious. Dance. Uh. Dan made millions. Kendrick made millions. I would too if I wasn't in my feelings. Bro, he definitely he made his millions money. now. He's young Simba, bro. Like, he ain't ain't more important than the moolah. <laughs> Y'all said J. Cole is young Simba. My fault. No, my, no disrespect. No disrespect. Go, go, go. Who's next? J.I.D. and Ski. All right. Oh my gosh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Dodge a car like a frogger. Flashy like lights on a router. I didn't say water, I'm out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. I might not seen this shit before. This nigga live under a rock, bro. Sean! Love y'all, bro. I'll talk to y'all later, bro. Where are the draws? Where are the draws? I need them all.